So let me make sure that I have everything ready. So, uh, uh yeah, Faizu, I'm, I'm trying to think. You know, what, what could you say about our next Game Master? Um, hmm, terrifying. Okay, that that's Cap Capable of feats of wizardry that confound me. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that as well. Oh, Jeff is actually already joining us. Hello, Jeff! Hello, everyone! <laughs> you sound pretty excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting months to get back into Kuso. I've been uh, uh, plotting. Good, uh, just good. Just sitting there day after day, um, thinking what evil things I can do. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, you definitely I'm... have some ideas here. I am looking forward to seeing what evil things you're planning to do, but I'm going to hop out of voice, I will leave you two to it, and I'm going to go and rest and try and be less sick. Go so, get uh, better, Faizu! Thank you for having me, bro, and good luck, Jeff, and all of the rest of the runners of tonight's games. This is yeah. going to be a blast, I'm sh <laughs> I'm so excited. Because we've got this. Jeff, yes, explain. We do. Well, it's a baby, and some animals, and some uh, peanut-flavored snacks, and okay. uh, it's in Hebrew. It, it certainly is. Uh, I, I don't know... what What's it called? What do you call this game? All right, well, let's start with that. So, we're going to call it Missy Bomba Shell Bomba. Now, that's not an exact transliteration, because... Uh, the, the, the actual name of the snack in Hebrew is Bachba, and okay. that sounds like a really disgusting name for a snack. So it the company does. just calls it Bamba in English. Bamba. Bamba. Okay. Um, and so this is um, a, apparently a very popular uh, snack food in Israel, uh, Bamba. And uh, so back in 1996, they made a uh, advert title out of it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's pretty much appropriate, yeah. Uh. <laughs> and I don't think they gave it much of a budget. Um, Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like they probably just fed them some snacks and said, here you go. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, you know, as soon as I knew you were giving a game out, I was like, please don't let it be a yogurt game. Uh, and luckily we don't have yogurt today, but we, we do no, have... No, 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 no yogurt. No yogurt yet. Who knows, there may be yogurt in your future. That is always possible. <laughs> that sounds really um, terrifying, And this actually. is, uh, the, the name of the company that makes the snacks is Awesome, which... I don't know if it was on purpose, but it, it sounds like awesome in English Ooh. word. Might be, might be on purpose. Well, I'm ready for this awesome experience. It's a wholesome experience, too, because it's about food. It's about how babies should be um, picking out on junk food. Okay, so is this a platformer? What can you tell us about this game that won't spoil too much? Well, it's a platformer in a sense, except nothing moves except your character. And you can't shoot. You have no weapons. Uh oh. <laughs> and yet it's hard. <laughs> Even though none of the enemies move. Well, actually, there aren't really any enemies to speak of. Uh, hmm. There's just you know, platforms. Mm, just platforms, huh? I'm not sure whether to call it a platformer or a Metroidvania or what. It's it's something. A little bit of both. Platformer, Metroidvania, you know, there's no difference. They're, the, they're essentially the same, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think all four players are currently streaming. Uh, drop my memory, who's doing audio for us? Uh. 
Oh my gosh, okay. I am just about set up with everything. Let me make sure everything looks fine. And I will send this live for everyone in just a second. Okay. I believe we've got the audio sorted out, so let me go ahead and make that cleared up before I send it your way. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out. We had a lot of people uh, who ended up subbing. Faizu, thank you for the host. Crazy Sunshine, Carol Z, Royal Blue Wizard, appreciate uh, I appreciate all the gift subs you've given. Thank you, Delta Fiend, for subbing. Tails Viraga, thank you, Voltus, for hosting. Uh, Mick Johnson for subscribing. Fell for subscribing. Team Murdoch as well. Uh, we, yeah, they're just a lot. Oh, geez, I, I'm probably going to forget somebody, but thank you, everybody, for all the love here. And come enjoy the game. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, jeez, oh I'm gonna have to make this name just a teeny tiny bit smaller. Uh, maybe. This is, this is our game. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful, fantastic looking game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me let me go ahead and turn the audio up. Oh geez, not very far up apparently. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's got music. Um, I, I hope tell. you like it, because you're gonna be hearing it over and over. Is it gonna be this music the whole time? Maybe. Jeff! <laughs> what is this and why does it exist? Oh no. It exists because the snack giant uh, paid for it to happen. Don't you wish you had that kind of power? Just be a, a giant snack food company and be like, you there, make me a game. Okay, so it looks like Okay, I'm just clarifying audio stuff. It looks like there was a miscommunication. That's okay. I'll go ahead and get that fixed. Mute that. See how it sounds here. About the same. Wow, Jeff. Pulling all the punches here, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you haven't even seen the gameplay yet. No, I haven't. <laughs> Do I need to? I, I guess not. I guess we could just end it here. Okay, this was Cusa Grande, everybody. Go have a good time. <laughs> Okay. It looks like we have three out of four players ready. Let me make sure. I'm not sure anybody can really be ready for this, but I guess they're set up to go. Perfect! I am doing the countdown in Discord. Wish them the best of luck, everybody. Channel your good mojo, because we've got this game. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but we definitely get to celebrate a baby. As soon as I see movement inside a stage, I will start our timer. Ugh. I don't like it.
Okay, this is off to a good start. Looks like Romaji is a little bit behind. That's okay. What's that? I just wasn't sure if Romaji was uh, running a delay or hadn't figured out how to get through the titles. They might be. Oh, beautiful. We get some advertisements. Come enjoy those. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's anyway, good. so... Um, don't let that uh, game thing in the top right distract you. The real game is in the rest of the... I oh, see it's still on the title screen. They're having a hard time getting the game started. You have to hit the space bar. Okay. Creepy baby. There we go. This this game is pretty intense. I can tell there's already a frame rate. <laughs> okay, so what are they trying to achieve in this first level here? Alright, so... Well, they're trying to achieve the same thing in all the levels, and it's basically you, you collect uh, bags of this delicious snack, and then you feed it to the animals. Okay. And that's it. That's the whole game. Collect snacks, give it to animals. That seems unwise. They say and don't you feed you give it the to animals. the specific animal in the bottom left corner of the screen. Okay, so squirrel for Lenalietta. Is it the same order for the animals every time? Uh, no, everything gets randomized, but it um, seems to work out that they'll, for, for the beginning of the level, uh, they'll put an animal that's close by to you is the first one that you should okay, go to. Okay, good. Looks like Voltus is doing pretty well feeding the animals. Good. This is a very game, Jeff. <laughs> We've got an hour of this. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and when you die, so the goal is a, a you can see they're getting these letters. Yes. Um, and it I guess it spells a sentence. I haven't gotten to the end of the game, so I don't know what the sentence spells, but uh, when you die, you lose all of your letters. You have to start over. Oh no! So There are like a couple of different, I don't know what you call them, levels? It's like one long, one long game, but they're, maybe you can call them checkpoints. If you and die at a check, after a checkpoint, you go back to the checkpoint. If you die again, you go back to the previous checkpoint. Okay, but you still lose all your letters? And you lose all your letters. So what happens if you get to a checkpoint with tons of letters and die? You don't go back to the beginning of the game. Can you still collect all the letters? Yeah, the letters are just something you get every time you feed an animal. There aren't specific letters that you need to get. So, so uh, you can just go back. You can just go backwards get everything. Oh, uh, okay. These sound effects are kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say. So basically, none of, like, there are no enemies that move, right? Okay. So the, the things that get you in trouble are uh, falling down. So there's, there's fall damage, which is, which is instant death. Um, stepping into a pile of water or on a stump. Um, or just walking into things. Okay. And then, so you have like a little health bar at the bottom. But honestly, I never really found the health to be an issue because I just insta-died so much that the health didn't really come into play. Yeah, gotcha. I feel like I need to balance the audio just a tiny bit. Okay, that, that might be a little bit better. Better on your ears. Uh, oh yeah, fall damage instantly kills you, so... Why do you flex when you give food to animals? Is this part of the food experience here? Have you ever because flexed Because the eating? baby's becoming stronger. Okay. He's By not eating. He's leveled up in his animal feeding skills. Oh, I see. You feed the animals, and by feeding something else junk food, you become stronger than them. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's the logic. Well, good. Good, good, good. By the way, Voltus is doing a great job spelling something out. Have any idea what this says? Drink more Ovaltine? 
something <laughs> like that. Yeah, and it's it's a little concerning to me that the animals disappear when you give them the snacks. Like, do you really want to be eating that if that's what happens to you? Eat our food and your existence will come into question. <laughs> oh, it looks like Roma just took a terrible death. Terrible, terrible. I mean, every death as a baby is terrible. This baby's really good at climbing ladders, though, even more so than walking. <laughs> That's what uh, babies are known for, is their climbing ladder skills and jumping. It's good skill. <laughs> this is music! It wasn't good to start with, and it's not getting better. <laughs> so we're measuring progress um, by uh, how far people get in this sentence. Uh, it looks like Voltus is in the lead, and uh, Shurukin is next. And I, I haven't seen between the remaining two. Who's what covered. if someone completes a sentence? Well, um... Hopefully that won't happen, but um, this we're playing on the easiest difficulty setting, so um, we can either go to the next difficulty setting or else, uh, depending on how far we are into the match. Just yes, make them go to done. the next difficulty. We need a full hour of whatever this is. Yeah, I, I'm... Uh, I, I figured uh, people might finish a little bit before the hour. I didn't think people were going to finish within 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of more gameplay, and it gets gets a little trickier. Well, Voltas uh, could definitely lose his whole sentence. So it's not over till it's over. But that's a significant amount of progress. Remember, it... Uh, Actually, this is for a lot of people who are new here. Progress is determined based off of how far you've gotten total, not uh, oh, where you are at the end of the hour. So Voltus is still in the lead, even though he lost all his progress. That's so brutal. that's kind of what I figured would happen. That's what happened to me when I played this. I was like, hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting pretty far into it. Then you fall and it's all over. Yeah, and I imagine and that you can start getting a little bit frustrated uh, and end up making more mistakes as time goes on. Yeah, so um, the walking, it's not its not like skipping frames or anything. You just, uh, you hit left and it walks like one unit. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and you can see what Voltus is doing. You can crawl as well. That's how you have to get underneath some of those things. Oh, no. How do you jump? Then, oh, see, there's that there's that little Kuso hole over there. <laughs> How do you jump? Uh, you hit the space bar, and it, it for whatever reason it gives you some fanfare music when you jump. Okay. It's good like, music. Good job, Ooh. baby. You jumped. Go well, <laughs> Voltus has see? a lot of health, but or a lot of lives, but yeah, Voltus is dying a lot. Well, there's no uh, lives as such. You get you get all the lives you need. Shuruken is starting to make a good amount of progress at this point. Uh, getting four letters down. Voltus is still in the lead, almost completing the third word. All right, and uh, oh, Wizard is saying in chat that it's there is none like Bomba. At least that's where we are so far in the sentence. It's true. There. There is none like Bomba. So it is basic. It's just advertising more Bomba. That's all this is. This is an advertisement. You know, if I played this, I would probably be like, I will never buy your food again. Stupid Bomba. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, I don't know what message they're trying to send us, like, monkeys and deer and squirrels like our food, so buy it.
defeat it to the animals and banish them into the nether realms. So I love is that like the the animals if you if you bonk into them, it, it gives you damage. <laughs> like you, you literally get damage just by walking into them. And that's the only damage you get. <laughs> Everything else is insta death. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here is that basically this came out in 96. It came out as part of a marketing campaign for the snack, you know, who would have guessed? And you literally are a baby, and I think we've covered all the lore of this game already. <laughs> so one other uh, uh, thing about the, the playing, so you, connect, you collect all these snacks. When you give them to the first few animals, the animals take one of your snack bags. After that, they start taking two of your snack bags, and then three. Um, I didn't get far enough into the game to find out at what point that ends, but... Um, so you do need to spend a lot of time going around and finding these snacks. I love that someone is credited for the idea of this game. <laughs> it's, um, it's different, you know? I'll give it that. It's, and someone uh, is I... There are two people who worked on the script. <laughs> two whole people worked on the script. There's no words. There's nothing. <laughs> What the there's there's a sentence there's a sentence it came two people two people worked on this one sentence that you're trying to spell out you don't even collect the letters you feed animals food and then it i don't know <laughs> and they both of them worked on multiple games as writers <laughs> I do love that the baby flexes. That's probably the best part of the game so far. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I love how shameless they were about putting the name of the snack all over the background. And so it's they're, they're the company name and the name of the snack just all over the place. I've seen much more subtle brainwashing than this, you know? <laughs> You know, the two people who worked on the script, maybe you could have come up with something other than that. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. This makes me so wow, happy. Wow, Baltus is making some pretty great progress here. Whoa! Whoa, that was it? That was the I end think of the game? so. Alright, well, time for level two then. Or uh, level uh, difficulty level two. Okay, I have let... Er, is Voltus continuing, or did they go to difficulty 2? I don't know if it automatically puts you at difficulty 2, but just to be sure, just hit escape at 2. This game has only one music track, yes! Yep. Uh, and yes, this is a game. So I've heard. Or is this the second level? No, I'm a hard time telling. <laughs> you know, I get confused by this as well. Um, but this is uh, this this is a stage they would have gotten to before in finishing the game. Um, but it's a little bit harder now. Oh um, no! Slipping on the hippo, you never want that to happen. So one thing that I found that I haven't seen come up in the game yet is that there's this snake that's wrapped around a tree branch. Huh. And uh, you can... So I've seen the snake, but if you give it a snack... It's never one of the animals you're supposed to feed, but if you give it a snack, it'll stretch out across the... Uh, branch to the other side and you can walk over it. I'm not sure uh, 
if that's only in the higher difficulty levels uh -oh. that you need to do that. Um, but there's no, there's nothing to indicate to you that you should be doing that. Okay, nice. No, oh, Voltus. Unfortunately, it's slipping in front of the hippo. Yeah, was that death for Lin and Lietta? This is the most people who will ever watch this game ever. I, I have to disagree with you, uh, Versancha. Um, you're, you're very wrong. Oh, right, because if I'm not mistaken, this was on Vine Sauce for a hot minute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was I was very disappointed to see that. So for, for those of you that uh, know me as a game master, like my niche is finding really obscure stuff. I was real proud of myself for finding this. Um, so there didn't seem to be anything anywhere about it. But then Vine Sauce had it on a stream for like one minute. There was almost no gameplay. But um, if you if you Google, that'll come up. And a lot of people have actually seen this. I love that sometimes the snacks just disappear when you're going for them. Like, I want to collect the snack so I can give it to an animal. Amazing. Uh, isn't this a mascot? Sure. Yeah, the baby's the mascot. They now, apparently, I looked at their website, the, um, the the bag doesn't have the baby on it, but you can still get the baby on bag version. <laughs> That's the a separate baby product. baby on bag. <laughs> I don't remember what they call it, but the the you can you can buy a alternate um uh, packaging of it that has the baby on it, but that's not their standard one. Oh, and Shuruken is through, uh, moving on to uh, difficulty two, from what I understand. That's a lot of eating noises. You see, the snake doesn't get invited to that party. Okay, there we go. Shuruken is on difficulty two. Yeah, so much crunch. I feel bad for the animals that are in the background that are not getting fed. You know, they just came a little bit closer. Like there's that lion and some birds. I think I Apparently, would be standing in the background. I don't really want to approach this baby. You like that pink bunny in the back? That poor pink bunny doesn't get any food. The blue bunny comes up, gets all the food, it's happy, disappears. Okay. So it looks like we're just a little bit, like, making sure that Shuruken does actually move on to difficulty two. All right, great. I believe we're good. Yeah, I see the fatty yeah, hippo. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> the difficulty uh, increases a little bit. Um, they, the way they randomize things makes them uh, much more out of the way. And uh, there's... Uh, well, I... You, you, you move faster, but it doesn't really make it any more difficult. This is how Noah 
fed all the animals on the Ark? I presume so. Noah was a giant baby. <laughs> okay, it looks like Voltus has managed to platform across the hippo. That's good. I mean, I'm pretty impressed that they were able to make a platformer with no animation other than, like, a two frame walk cycle. It's somewhat. <laughs> oh, and also the crawl and the climbing. Oh, yeah, the crawl and the climbing. Alright. So there are, like, what, four or five different things. There Every few frames. Is static. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's the flexing as well. Alright, well that flexing probably used up their whole budget. <laughs> oh boy, just to let everybody know, it looks like we do have the next game chosen. Of course, we're not announcing it right now, but yes, we have two matches after this one. If you haven't had enough baby act, well, I don't know. We're, there may or may not be babies in your future. <laughs> okay. Voltus just has a bunch of snacks. Gonna be crawling yeah, through. Yeah. So did you see what what Voltus just did? Fed fed the hippo one of the snacks okay. to be allowed through. The hippo's hungry. So that's kind of similar to what I was saying with the snake thing. Um, that's. It makes it a little harder on these difficulties. Is there puzzles? Question mark. Um, that you have to do to advance. So. Yeah. So, Voltus and Sharukin are definitely in the lead right now. Lenalieta and Romaji are a little bit behind, but not really a huge deal because. We've seen plenty of comebacks in the past. We've seen people who were in last come into first. And simply put, all you have to do is have one good playthrough to be yeah. able to pass the first difficulty. Exactly. So, so tell me, Jeff, how did you find this? Or if you don't want it to disclose too much, you don't have to. Um, this, I, I just have a couple of uh, websites that I go to now that have bazillions of games on them. I mean, just old, old DOS stuff, and I, you know, I'm, I'm particularly interested in the international things, so I sort of look for titles that are not in English and start there. Um, yeah. And if I haven't heard of the publisher, even better, and if it's the only game the publisher has ever put out, it's even better. Yeah, I, I would go ahead and say, you know, I'm ragging on this game quite a bit, but at the same time, you know, there are people who put a lot of work into this, especially the artists, maybe not the store, the, the script writers. <laughs> you know, they, they put some effort, minimal effort into it. But some effort. I'd say the artist did the most work here. Then again, I have no I idea so. what... Like, I'm just imagining working at a snack food company and suddenly getting assigned a project to make a video game. I'm like, I've never made one before. What do I even do? And this game gets made. That's what it is. Yeah. You know, and it works. It's functional. Uh, it actually seems like it's pretty reliable uh, in actually making progress. The sound effects work. Like, it's functional. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's interesting because a lot of times people sort of think all Kuso games have terrible controls and, and are non-functional or barely functioning games. But there's a lot of types of games that, that are Kuso that... Some actually basically set out to do what they intended to do. It's just they didn't set a very high bar for themselves. <laughs> yeah, so everybody, if they can make a game like this, you can make a game like this too. Is just, that supposed to be encouraging people? <laughs> just go get a couple script writers and you'll be set. 
Yeah, these are definitely sound effects. Look, you don't... You can use free sound effects. You don't have to make every single sound effect on your own. Go get a free library. Make it sound like it's Windows 95. Yeah, it's gonna be a great game. The players say Peggy the Peach handled well. Uh, yeah, I uh, I think everybody loved Peggy the Peach. It was a highly playable game. Yeah, acclaimed. <laughs> they couldn't carry the blame alone. Cruel cow, I like it. <laughs> the script writers. Oh, poor dudes. But that's why there were two. So we're moving towards half an hour into this match. Uh, oh my gosh, it's only been half an hour? <laughs> it's only been half an hour. This music, it just keeps going. Like the thing is, if you're going to make a game that's an advertisement, realize that there may be people who play it for more than two seconds, you know? Put, put some joy into it. I don't think that was <laughs> their approach to this. Oh no, Sharukin! Death by Snake? Oh, it looks like Romani yeah, that's the has part finished. Where you have to, uh, I think that's the part where you have to give the snake some food. Nice, Romaji okay. moving on to uh, difficulty two. All right. That's moving them into third place at the moment. I believe Voltus is still in the lead. Sharukin in second. Romaji moving to third. Lenalieta struggling a little bit. I can't blame you at all for struggling because this does not seem like the most for like straightforward game uh, by the way we did some calculations even if someone comes in fourth during the first match they still have a chance of coming back uh, and getting into the final bracket so a loss here like it'll make it more difficult but it's not impossible to come back uh, considering that if you take fourth, you will be facing other people who took fourth as well, so, uh, you know, you'll be able to go up against other people who have had a kind of unfortunate experiences with video games as well. Well, it looks like Voltus is almost finished with difficulty too. Having fed all of... Just needs to not Voltus die. is just about to difficulty three, yeah. Is there a difficulty three? There is a difficulty three. Oh, nice. Well, that's relieving to hear. Voltus finishing difficulty two and moving to three. Wow. Wow. And listen to the munch. Well, we can't hear him, but everybody, there is munching to be done when you have collected all of this food. I feel like all the animals are going to get fat. Is that what you have to do in the third stage? You know, go and help them all get a diet? You know, do some workouts? No, but there is a sequel. Uh. Oh my gosh, you move so fast in difficulty three. Yeah. Wait, the difficulty is you're faster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't really think that's a difficulty <laughs> that you go faster, but... Um, it might be. You do... Uh, they're, they're more, uh, it, it, the, the randomness seems to choose things that are further away for you, and uh, there's some additional things you need to figure out, like feeding the hippos. Wow, Voltus is so fast! The fastest the little baby of them all. Okay, time for the hippo jump. Unfortunately, the hippo was not having any of that for Voltus. I can't figure out the hippo's hitbox because it, it seems like, like it doesn't have one. It seems like when the mouth is closed, you can jump on it, but when it's not, you'll slip on it. 
Oh, that could be. Because there were times when I was just able to be standing on water. And <laughs> I'm not sure how you, gave feed, up on him how you feed the hippo there. Uh, you just hit uh, enter to feed the animals. It works with the snakes and the hippos the same way. Okay. But I'm not entirely sure why. So like yeah, right? So good. No, don't, don't trust the hippo, that... Shuriken. Yeah. His mouth is open. Maybe you just have to jump and mash. It looks like Voltus has figured out the snake. Or maybe you're supposed to be... I forgot, do you feed the hippo while you're on it? That might be it. Possibly. By the way, yes, there is an in-game timer. What?! <laughs> Voltus! <laughs> that was a great... A great animation there! Hippos are vicious killers. They look so... They're pretty terrifying. They, they look so cute in this game, but yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna mess with one. Okay, so there, the snake is extended across. Good. That was the trick that I was saying earlier. Now, I don't know what this bee or hornet thing is that's wearing gloves and has four fingers. That's kind of scary. Well, it's gone. Whatever it is, like I'm glad the enemies don't actually move in this game. <laughs> Make it a lot harder. Yeah, like. Can things kill you? Like, I know that the hippo, if you don't feed it, it'll kill you, but I'm not sure about everything I mean, else. Not really. Things just cause damage if you hit them. Oh, okay. Which, you know, to be fair, is fairly realistic. Like, if you just go up to uh, and walk into a tiger, you're going to take some damage. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Oh, no, Voltus! So, like, the walking is definitely a little odd in this. <laughs> how, how does it control? Left and right probably moves you left and right, right? But does it move right. you like a full step when you push left or right? Yes. So it's just like one unit. Oh, there we go. Feeding the hippo. Uh, That's how good. you get the hippo to go to sleep. Yeah, the hippo has been really tricky for people. Yeah, so it's it's weird. It's not like um, you know, it moves you a few pixels or whatever. It moves you a whole square. I don't know how you measure the units, but like a whole tile over, um, and then you can you know, up climbs and down once you crawl. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, Sharukin losing progress there. It looks like Lena Lieta is almost at the end. Got to grab that snack. Okay, Lena Lieta got the snack. But isn't uh -huh. the elephant the one that she needs to go feed? Yeah, but or is you there need more a different than one elephant? snack. He needs so, more. you need more than one snack. Why? Well, as you go through the level, the animals require more and more snacks before they disappear. Okay. So, beginning, you need one, then two, then eventually three. I think Lena or, has finished the yeah. stage? Looks like it. Yes! Yay! Everybody Moving finished. on to difficulty two, everybody has finished the first difficulty. Very nice. So this might be a good opportunity to tell you all about Bomba Snack, the uh, modern remake of this, um, what? which comes, <laughs> which comes in. Uh, there, there are four parts to it. There are four series of four games, uh, and it's 3D. Um, and it's a, it's a thing you can, uh, you can download it on the Apple iTunes uh, store. On Apple iTunes. Wait, but it's, it's this a mobile game? game. No, it's not this game. It's a it's an update. It's a modern 3D retelling of this. Ooh, 
Okay, so apparently you, there are also different variants of the Bomba food. There's also Sweet Bomba, Nougat-filled Bomba, and Halva-filled Bomba. I don't know what Halva is. Do you know what the it is? The sweet... It's sweet? No, the, um... <clears throat> halva is like, um... Uh... I, I've never had it, but it's uh, made with some kind of roots. Um, but it, it's a sweet thing. Uh, okay. But the, um, the, the sweet one is, is a strawberry flavored version, and they, they advertise that as for, for people with uh, peanut allergies who can't eat the, uh, the normal one. Oh, okay. So essentially... I'm not really sure how similar it is. I mean, strawberry's not really much of a substitute for peanuts, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna discuss making Bomba, not making babies, okay? Don't get distracted by the mascot. This is how you make Bomba. You take corn grits. Corn grits. Wow, I sort of went dyslexic there for a second. Corn grits are popped under high pressure, turning them into long lines of white, puffed, unflavored Bomba. And then I guess they flavored them. Oh, they air bake them, gives them texture, uh, and then peanut butter, which comes from Argentina, is added at the end. You can't beat Argentinian peanut butter. Yeah. I want to try some of this. Ooh, there's okay, so also Hulk strawberry. Is apparently, Hulk is made from sugar syrup, egg whites, and sesame seeds. Ooh, okay. Okay, th yeah, they've got s strawberry flavored, they've got the nougat filled, uh, and apparently it's one of the greatest successes of Nestle in Israel. Interesting. Ooh, oh, there's Walt criticism. Might be about to finish this game. There's criticism. Yeah, let me go How ahead and read you Bomba criticism from Wikipedia. Some health experts say that Bomba should not be promoted as a quote unquote healthy children's snack. They say this claim is deceptive, and the added vitamins in Bomba could result in overconsumption of nutrients. Okay, so Bomba, uh. watch out. There are people who do not think it's healthy enough for children. I mean, to be fair, if, if my if I had a child that looked like that, I would, I would question the safety of food. Well, it's like eating cheese puffs, you know? In general, if you're yeah. eating cheese puffs and you're like, ooh, look at all these vitamins. Oh my gosh, Voltus yeah. won! Voltus! Uh, I believe... so I guess... What's that? Voltus doesn't have to play the game anymore. <laughs> I believe he's free. I don't think there is difficulty for. I think that's it. That's it. Wow. Um, amazing. I didn't think anybody would uh, uh, make it through all three levels. Yeah, Voltus is definitely done. Yeah, that was a little bit early. That's completely fine. Let's see what Voltus decides to do. Just gonna eat more, or grab more snacks for the fellow <laughs> animals here. Maybe Voltus is so excited they're gonna speedrun the game now. Oh boy! I can see that. It's a lot, a lot of RNG, but um, I guess Voltus now has world record. In it. <laughs> Heck yeah! Okay, Voltus. Yeah, he he just wants to stay a baby. You know, back in the innocent days when you were children, going around feeding. Uh, nutrient-filled cheese puffs to uh, <laughs> to animals, not cheese puffs, cheese puffs without the cheese to animals, peanut you know. Peanut butter puffs. It, or peanut puffs. It was such a happy, oblivious time, you know. That is when you truly lived. Yeah, except for that time when I fell off a ladder and died. Well, okay, yeah, that, that part's a little rough. But what you gonna do? You're a baby. Oh, he's routing now? Uh-oh. <laughs> See, 
you know, the, the thing is, I, I give out some, some interesting games. Generally, the feedback I get afterwards is people people enjoyed playing them, as, as weird and awful as they look. We'll see if that's true with this one. <laughs> this music, it's just killing me. I don't think anybody yeah. else has made it to difficulty three at this point. Uh, Shuruken, Romaji, Elena Lieta, all on difficulty two right now. Oh yeah, the baby does do... Wait, does the baby do jazz hands? I know the flex. There's a, there's a thing that I haven't figured out yet. Occasionally, the baby just uh, just just dies. Like, looks like uh, something out of time or something like that. But that doesn't make sense because time counts up. Um, so every once in a while, I just died. It looked like the the baby uh, had to had to do his business. And it looks like a couple of the players have figured out what's been tripping them up when it comes to difficulty two here. So, uh, yeah, Sharuk and, and Lena Lieta should be able to start making some progress now. Romaji still has a little work to get to that point. So what genre would you call this now that you've seen a little bit of it? Jeez. I mean, it's... It's technically a platformer. A snack em up. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> snack em up? That's, That's awesome. good, Cadus. I like it. Because you gotta give them some points for doing something. Uh, I might genre. put it in the category of dumb like. baby games. I don't want babies in my games, okay? We've had no, this wait, discussion wait multiple times. <laughs> There's some really good baby games out there. Name. All of them. Oh, wait, Bio you Miracle. just did because there are none of them. Uh, hey, what about uh, Bio Miracle? Okay, okay, that's like the one good baby. Okay, game. so there's a, there's a good genre of babies eating. I guess the baby here doesn't really technically eat anything. No, he just encourages others to eat the healthy food. The healthiest peanut puffs in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Although they're more so grit puffs because you can flavor them with other things other than peanuts. Grit puffs, I don't know, I don't think anybody advertising grit puffs would be able to sell them. <laughs> this game has an end. Sure. <laughs> Voltus is the winner right now. Yeah. Oh no, Romaji taking a death right there. It looks like Shuruken is getting really close to fi figuring out and finishing difficulty two. Yeah, uh, you know what? Scars... Emotional scars are not exactly unusual for Cusa Grande, and sometimes people end up playing more than they should <laughs> when it comes to some of these games. Voltus may have fallen into that trap. No, there's... As far as I know, there, there might be credits somewhere hidden in a menu. Maybe there's a secret dev room in this game. You know, I'm wondering all the Easter eggs that the developers could have hidden here. Shuruken moving on to difficulty three. Something <laughs> makes me think that <laughs> it sounds so creepy when you finish, <laughs> right? There, they have just devoured the food, and Shuruken is moving on to difficulty three. Crunch. Yeah, there. There we go. Voltus finishing the game again. I guess <laughs> this is not like I feel like this would be banned in the U.S. Yeah, <laughs> I could see. Well, those are really all that different from some of our uh, 
food based uh, adver adver games. We had like um, a, there's a Chex game and oh there's that uh, Skittles game. Oh yeah, That's a the good one. the Skittles one Dark is strange. Sky. Uh oh, did Romaji go offline? It looks like Romaji has decided that they are done. Oh no! Oh no! I I told Voltus that they didn't have to play this anymore. Oh. And I think Romaji <laughs> took it that they didn't have to play it anymore. <laughs> oh no! Oh. no. Little miss... <laughs> Communication there. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and refresh their page and see if I can get them going again. Okay, that's okay. You just get another advertisement brought by Change. The game. It is the game called Change. Thank you very much. I mean, I'd still rather play this baby game than what's this Apex? Apex Legends. Yeah, got nothing on this. Oh, baby cakes. Oh, baby cakes. You know, I wish you could feed the macaw in the background on Lena Lieta's screen. It's there, it's trying to be happy, it obviously wants some of the food, but it's too shy to ask. Don't, don't feed macaw, he already plays a lot of bad games as it is. Also, Cadus, we'll have to decide... Uh, because it was a miscommunication, I believe, we could give Romaji a tiny bit of extra time. It is completely your call, though. Okay, Cadus has taken that into an account. Perfect. Like, I wonder what makes this baby think that the animals actually want the food. They're, like, all sitting around looking super happy, just chilling out, not asking for any food. And he's just running around. Hey, you want this? You want this? And they take it and disappear. And he's smiling like, yeah, okay, that seemed like a good idea. Let's do that to all of the animals. Yeah, it, I think this hippo is really trippy, Romaggio. Yeah. Shurukin is doing a pretty good job on difficulty three. Okay, that's okay. Lena Lieta is almost through difficulty two. Just a little bit left to spell. Oh yeah, just one letter left. Oh yeah, the the frog is to the left. Just make sure that you don't die. Looks like Lena Lieta has full health though. Very little could stop them. Now it's time to go to the end of the stage. Yeah, that flexing. Wow, the baby has beefy shoulders. Well, but only for a moment. I mean, you, look, your muscles don't go away when you stop flexing. That's basic physiology. This music is hurting you, RL. Yeah. Well, if if the baby hasn't developed object permanence yet, then they, they do in fact go away. No, look. Okay, mind. object permanence is just in its mind. It doesn't mean that the baby literally has muscles disappear when it stops flexing. It's a psychological thing, Jeff. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight, and this music <laughs> is gonna, like, follow me.
Okay, that's the end of level two. Difficulty two. Sweet. I'm also concerned that the baby has a single tooth. And I don't know if that's because the others haven't come in yet, or they've already fallen out. I don't know. You know, it's just baby things. Because a baby's old enough to be able to walk and wear shoes. So you think, alright, it's probably old enough that, that uh, a couple of teeth have come in already. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like maybe the baby's two, something like that. They're, they're walking. They're, they're wearing uh, shoes like that on their two, I think. Okay. Well, we are just over the 10 minute left mark. We are starting to get close to the end of this match. So, Jeff, what do you think, uh, you know, of what you've seen so far? How has it gone? I'm really impressed with everybody's uh, performance, to be honest, because uh, when I was playing this, I wasn't sure that uh, anybody was going to be able to get through the first level completely. I figured people might get real close to beating the first difficulty and then just kind of keep dying close to the end. Um, because there, there are a lot of just little little things you got to pay attention to, like the holes in the rope bridges. Um, if you're just not paying attention, it looks like you can walk right across them. Um, but that everybody was uh, not only able to finish the first level, but most of them finished the second, and that somebody finished the third. So really, yeah, uh, it's been pretty, impressive. Pretty incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's sort of one of those rules that no matter how you think the players are going to do, they're almost always going to exceed your expectations. Yeah, that's, uh, that's generally been my experience. And it's, with a, with a game like this, uh, it, it's, it's real confusing when you first start because you won't recognize it as being, oh, this is just a platformer, I just go do this and that. So it's a little disorienting. But I didn't know how long it was gonna take people to figure out uh, what's going on. Obviously, it takes people somewhat different amounts of time, but clearly everybody now uh, is at the point they've, they've played this enough to understand all the mechanics of the game, and uh, there are just some things that I don't really understand still about how those hippos work, so I can't fault them for not, uh, not getting that every time. Oh, there yeah. we go. Hippo fed. Oh, good. Yeah, it's, do you have to feed it mid-jump? I, I think you're just supposed to walk right over to the edge and feed it. Yeah, I think but... you can probably do that. I know Romaji is getting frustrated. Uh, in fact, they were saying in Discord that it feels like they're softlocked. That's one of the most frustrating feelings when it comes to, uh, yeah. when it comes to Kusagrani games. And, Figuring out how to get past that wall that you have uh, is a skill that takes a while to learn. Generally, trying things that you've never tried before, uh, or yeah, j if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're not going to make progress. But figuring out what you have haven't done before can often help. Yeah, I think a lot of people, they they think of um, this tournament in terms of you know, just being really good at platformers, but what it really takes to be good at a game like this and to win here is actually figuring out some of the, the puzzles, which means, and there's no explanation, right? It's not like it gives you some hint as to what you do. It's just the hippo, and you have to realize the hippo wants uh, peanut-flavored puffs. <laughs> So it's really just trying different things, and it's its own skill set um, that, that people can develop playing mystery games, playing these kinds of Puso games. Um, oh, yeah. So we, we often see people um, who are not speedrunners doing really well at Puso. It's true. It looks like Voltus is likely going to be stopping their stream. That is completely fine. They demolished this game. <laughs> Yeah, 
Looks like Romaji is standing there in front of the hippo. Don't jump. Just feed. Feed the hippo. He's got plenty of snacks. Okay, backing away from the hippo. They're... Yeah, I, I can see the gears are spinning in this in, in Romaji's mind, you know. That's why I was thinking of it as sort of a Metroidvania in the sense that you have to clear certain obstacles before you get to other parts of the game. Um, you basically can freely explore until you run into that giant blue bunny. Stupid uh, bunny. Like, right, you can't get past the blue bunny, so then you say, oh, well, I need, a, I need to jump on some hippos instead. And you try, but then you slip off the hippo. Could this be... No, this isn't the world's first Metroidvania, because I think Metroid came out, and Super Metroid came out before this. <laughs> <laughs> I think by 96 it was, it was a thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a race between Lena Lieta and Sharukin, really, for second and third. And I'm not sure who's currently in the lead that way. But that's okay, we have referees watching right now to make sure that, you know, the results are accurate. But yeah, shoutouts to referees. It's, uh, it's a lot of work um, trying to focus on so many different things, and it's great that we have a lot of people helping out behind the scenes with all the cruisers. So from it looks, from what it looks like, Shuruken is likely in second at this point, Lena Lieta in third, and Romaji in fourth. Although Romaji, was that progress that I saw? Did they manage to get across the hippo? Maybe I'm delusional. I might be delusional. Sharukin is bugging like none other. I just love the strut. You move so fast on difficulty 3. It's so good. Yeah, I'm really glad that this isn't yogurt themed. Uh, because I'm not sure why there are so many yogurt based video games, but there are. <laughs> trying to think. Like, Chex Quest. Oh, Sharukin! Feeding the hippo, good choice there. Romaji has not figured that one out quite yet. Lenalieta doing their best to not fall. But when you're moving this fast, it's difficult to stay alive. And there we go, Voltus turning off their stream. That is completely cool. All right, two minutes left. Two minutes. I'd say it's not quite over for Lena Lieta to move into second, but it may be close. Oh my gosh. One of the nice things with this game, as far as racing it, is it doesn't take too much time to finish a level if you do it all correctly. Um, oh yeah. So. You know, throughout the whole race, up until pretty close to the end, everybody's still in it. Um, if anybody here wants a world record, this game is definitely up for grabs. <laughs> <laughs> this is through... Oh, a lesson on bribing people. I think Red oh, yeah. Queen has it right there. Just gonna bribe... Grab your way through. Yeah, Voltus managed to go and excel during this match. It's been fantastic. Quick See, reminder, can... uh, it's good to go and follow some of these players. You know, they often play a lot of bad games, and I fully recommend checking some of their streams out. I get why the elephant would be interested in the peanut-flavored snack. I'm not so sure about some of these other animals, like... Tigers? Are tigers known for liking peanuts? <laughs> oh, they love them, I guess. How do you know? You hate tigers. I don't hate tigers. Tigers are 
adorable. Especially the small ones. Small tigers. And there we go. We hit the hour mark. The music is dead, and so is this match. We are <laughs> done with this. Congratulations. Wow. Oh, and we get the national anthem from Superman NES. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, this game wasn't exactly made in the U.S., but we can go ahead and celebrate it anyway. Good job, <laughs> you're free! Romaji is offline. It looks like everybody is going offline. That is completely fine because Voltus is the victor today. Voltus managed to get through all three difficulties. Uh, Shuruken and Lenalietta got to difficulty two. It looks like Shuruken made more, di more, or they got to difficulty three. Shuruken made more progress there. Romaji made it to difficulty two, but had a little bit of a struggle when it came to uh, actually getting past that hippo. The Hippo! Well, let's see if we can get some of these folks in here to, to tell us about their experiences. Yes! Oh, jeez. It looks like uh, Romaji has learned about feeding stage hazards, and uh, <laughs> he is definitely upset about that. Hello, Voltus. Welcome. Hello. Thank C you. Congrats. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, that was uh, a good display. Honestly, we didn't expect anybody to finish the game, but you managed to go and do that. Uh, yeah, I, I got lucky that I uh, uh, basically found out how you get further into difficult too. Yeah, you managed to figure out how to feed the stages. That was... <laughs> Sorry, Lenalia, or Lena Lieta is saying that this is the most ex miserable experience they've ever had playing a video game. Jeff, how <laughs> could you? Uh, I take that as a compliment. Yeah, so what are your impressions, by the way, Voltus? Uh, I don't think it's too bad, actually. Like, I, I wasn't frustrated or anything. I mean, you had unlimited continues, you, so you could start over and over, basically. And um, I, I also think I found a couple of glitches. And yeah, in the end, I just tried to beat the game as fast as I can. Yeah, you you managed to do extremely well. Seriously, congratulations. Uh, yeah, what was the most difficult part, though? Um, yeah, the transition from difficult one to difficult two was definitely something because it, at first it looks like you, you're stuck, can't go anywhere. And at, at first I like I think there was a hippo in the water. <laughs> I think at least the force was a hippo. And um, I, I tried to k jump on it a couple times already, so it was the right idea. And I I basically just mashed a couple buttons and then I accidentally feed it. And then I, oh, I was like, oh yeah, and then. It made click and oh yeah, can use the surroundings. So yeah, it's oh geez, it was like just watching it. It was a little bit hard to uh, see exactly how difficult it was, but there were definitely some odd things in that game. The I I love how in difficulty three it just speeds up and makes it almost look like a game. Yeah, that was actually pretty nice. Like th two and three wasn't that difficult. It felt like at least just it was way faster. But that helped. It felt like it helped more than it actually hurts because you could collect the food faster and feed the animals. Yeah. yeah, the the animals were certainly hungry there. How long did it take you to figure out the hippo though? That's that's what tripped most people up. I don't know, like maybe five to six minutes. Like. You always start at random. You get, you get a random starting spot, and like, I don't know, in Difficult 2, I got like 8 out of 10 attempts. I started on the right side of the river next to the hippo, and I had basically nowhere to go. Then I just keep trying to jump over the river all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, congratulations though for demolishing this. You did an extremely good job. Uh, even though it, it's a game with a baby. 
I, I have to say though, the, the soundtrack is absolutely garbage. It, it was like it, it sounded like you the, the music is skipping all the time, oh. and I I was ho so hoping since since set up I had the music running, and I was so hoping that we get some different music during the stages. But then we start the game and no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I I had an absolute blast watching this, though, and I'm glad that you had the chance to uh, participate in this, Voltus, and manage to take the victory. Now, you will be going up against other people who took first place in the future, so you're going to have heavy competition. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> My first time participating, so... That's okay. That's your you first know. time. That's fantastic. Yeah. You did really well, Voltus. Thank you. Well, we'll go ahead and move on to the next game because we've got two more matches. Jeff, thank you for participating in choosing the game here, and I really appreciate uh, all of the players for jumping in today, even though they kind of suffered a little bit. This was a cool choice. <laughs> uh, thanks. It's always a pleasure being here. I'm going to jump out of the voice chat, and I'll see you all in the um, Twitch chat. Sweet. See you there. Well, we've got some interesting games coming up now. Uh, oh, and take care to you too, Voltus. Yeah, thank you. Good luck to the other participants that's coming up. Sweet. Yeah, good Play luck. Play strong. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kiss Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament, and let's go ahead. Who is going to be the next GM? Well, you've all heard.